Unfortunately, I ended up on the unit testing video this year. I don't really know how that happened, but clearly I made some mistakes along the way. And the thing that I wanted to build for this was a nice little Christmas list, you know, show off all the things that I want to see in the framework next year. Like I really want to have a nice react rune, bring use effect into the framework, a good re-render everything helper, get some rust on the back end, get rid of the type safety, really just kind of bring Svelte in line with the competition. I think that'd be healthy for the ecosystem, but when I was building this, it's like, okay, how am I going to do unit testing for this example? It's basically just a to-do list, nothing all that special. But ultimately, I think I came to a pretty good solution here by uh, over-engineering the ever-living hell out of this. I figured instead of just using an array for the list, because that's boring and lame, what if we used a binary search tree? Does it make any sense? No, but it's very, very testable and does a great job of showing off just how insanely good the new classes system in Svelte is. Because of how absurdly complicated and over-engineered this is, this is actually worth testing. And the testing solution in SvelteKit is actually really, really good. I'm not a huge test guy myself, but this is well done enough and useful enough that I might actually be using this a bit myself, especially on some of the library code I'm doing, where we can define these tests within a christmaslist.svelte.spec.ts. It's using Vitest under the hood. We can initialize our Christmas store up here. And since these stores work just like classes, it's really, really cool. We can just do some expects in here. So we need to, when we initialize it, it should be empty. Then we add our fake item. We add it to the list. And then we make sure that it got added to the list correctly and all these things are working. I have a ton of other tests in here to test the removing and adding stuff. And in a real app, you'd want to make these a bit more extensive. You can also do some stuff for the back end. You can do some stuff for like actual DOM elements and that kind of thing. But as you can see here, when I run my testing command here, it'll take a second and it's going to pop up this window. I'll give you dark mode real quick. Sorry about that. And we can go through and see all the different tests here. You can see all of these passed. Everything seems to be working correctly. If I went back in here and I screwed something up, if I set that equal to two, go back to this, we're suddenly gonna have a failing test. We can rerun it as much as we want, see our assertion errors over here, go back to our code, fix this. And just like that, we have a working test suite. It's actually pretty damn good.